This time we are on our way to the Sierras in California. Since Moab, a massive heat wave struck the country. We took a lesson from the trail and learned to get our rest during the day and try to do our moving during the evenings and the early hours of the morning. We'd make our way across Nevada through the Ruby Mountains and then onto the Eastern Sierra. As always, our friends at recreation.gov help us find a good place to rest in between drives. By the end of the week, we'd be rolling into California, officially crossing the entire country in our new home. We just made it out to California and it feels like every state that we've driven through so far is experiencing some sort of massive wildfire. And one of the reasons why we're really proud to partner with Mystery Ranch is not only do they make the wildland firefighter packs that so many of our firefighters use, but they also support some really awesome foundations that help support the families of firefighters and the firefighters themselves. So when you're out, make sure you're doing your research, make sure your fires are put out properly, or when in doubt, just don't have one at all. Hey, so we've had some folks write in asking which size or height sock that we prefer for backpacking. Um, and I kind of just want to say that it's personal preference to me. Um, they're all wonderful. Just make sure that you look at your boot and make sure the sock that you're wearing is not going to go under the top of that boot. Sometimes our shoes can pull our socks down a little bit. Uh, so just making sure you're covering that. But really, if I had to pick a favorite, uh, I'm going to go with the Micro Crew. Um, right now, I am wearing the quarter just to work on my tan lines a little bit. But um, you really can't go wrong. Just keep it above the boot. Hey, what's our plan for today? So, we're going backpacking. We're getting back to the, the basics. Um, our buddy Preston, his, his brakes were having some problems, so he's going to be a little late. But I've got a fishing license, and there's an alpine lake up the ridge, so we're just going to kick this one off without him and uh, come back for him in the morning. All right, hopefully you've been paying attention and learning what we've taught you so far, so we want to take it another step further. Um, I want people to, to grab a map and I'm going to challenge you to plan a base camp hike or a loop of some sort. Something that you haven't done before, something that you haven't read about or know exists. Just take some trails out there, put them together and see what you can get yourself into. That's what we're doing this trip and we're going to use you know techniques that we've used before with the string um, to see our total mileage or try to get an idea of it. We're going to follow our topo lines and I'm going to act as if you know, I want to know everything we're getting into before we even get out there so I know what our hike's going to be like. And, you know, going over a map and coming up with a plan is, uh, to me, one of the, the most fun parts about a trip. So something that we've done this time is, you know, for this base camp trip, we're, we know that we're going to be going in a few miles. Um, it doesn't look like a terrible amount of elevation. So we're going to bring some of our comfier gear. We're going to enjoy our base camp. Uh, but then we found some trails that kind of go up and the topos are pretty steep. So we know that we can use that and maybe have a sunset hike, get above some things. So by looking at your map and just, you know, knowing what you're getting into is kind of a fun way of, you know, painting a picture for what's ahead. The last thing anybody wants to be worried about in the backcountry is getting a blister. So the first step in that process is prevention in the first place. So I wear the oboes with my darn tough. It's an excellent combo to keep you from getting the blisters and you wanna make sure that your boots fit you really well. Oboes has a great track record for that, uh, but even the best fitting shoe with the best sock, if you get debris down in there, you can still get a blister. So make sure you're keeping your feet really clean. And if you do start to feel any warmth or any hot spots on your foot, uh, make sure you take your socks and shoes off and immediately apply either some moleskin or some tape to create a second barrier on your skin uh, to prevent that hot spot from becoming a blister in the first place. All right, so to whip this guy up, we're gonna just get a few things together. A uh, half ounce of egg white, three quarters ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. You're gonna want half an ounce of simple syrup. I'm gonna mix all that together in ice with my shaker, uh, just to get it all mixed together really well. Uh, and then we're gonna add our bourbon. Two ounces is recommended, but you know, depending on the day. Um, we're gonna put that in there, mix it up for a minute or so, get it nice and cold pour it over some big thick ice cubes and I think that's the ticket to a good drink because it's not going to water my drink down. I can take my time and enjoy it. I don't have to slam it. Um, but <laughs> once that comes out of there, we're just going to put a couple drops of bitters on there and mix it around a little bit and you're good to go. We are getting ready to pack up all of our gear to hit the trails in Northern California here and I just really wanted to quickly go over some gear tips and tricks for you. So. The Lakey trekking poles all have these locking devices. It makes it really easy for you to adjust the poles to your exact height. 
Um, if you notice that when the locking device is closed, if the pole is still slipping in and out, then that doesn't mean the pole is broken. That just means that the little dial on the side needs to be adjusted. So all you have to do is tighten that thing and lock it back and that should keep it from slipping in and out. You don't want to over tighten the dial because then you won't be able to lock it back. So it's kind of a matter of finding that sweet spot. And uh, if the dial, if you're having trouble twisting the dial, then just get out your Leatherman pliers and you can use those to tighten that dial and then your pulse should be good to go. For this trip, we really wanted to showcase to you how exploring a new place can be a lot of fun. We literally bought a map, picked a lake on it, and we are going to make that our base camp. Instead of a big loop or a through hike like some backpacking trips, we are simply going to hike in, set up shop, and get to know this new place to us. I often enjoy the hard long mileage trips, but when the heat turns up, backpacking to an alpine lake is never a bad idea. I was instantly brought back to the fun we had in California last year. Massive pines and redwoods line these trails. Big wide open inviting forest and a handful of classic Sierra alpine lakes would make up the first bit of our day. Once we got to our lake, we looked around for an area with a view, some peace, and a solid camp spot to set up our tent. Alright, we've been having so much fun on the road, I accidentally popped my pad. Um, now, full disclosure, I do want to say that this is the toughest pad that I've ever owned. We got this at the beginning of last season, um, and somehow I've just put my first hole in it. I'm really hard on my gear. Um, so that being said, let's show you how to patch this thing. Uh, we, we're down here by the lake. It's just a really easy way to find the hole instead of like, you know, trying to hear the air. Um, I blow it up really tight and then push it underwater, and then I'm going to squeeze. Now, we already found the hole, so I know it's right in front of me. But, you know, get your bubbles going and you'll see them kind of coming to the surface. Once you have identified where the bubbles are coming from, uh, you're going to go ahead, mark it with your finger, bring it up there, dry it off, clean it off. That way your patch sticks really well. Um, and we like to just mark it with a little marker or something. That way we don't lose the hole. But we'll deflate it, put the pad on, let it sit in the sun for a little while, and then I'll probably blow it up before bed just to make sure it you know, has some time to stick. I'd head for the lake to see what the fish were up to for a little while. Alright, last time we kept this tent in stargazer mode all night, but now that we're back in the higher mountains, um, there's a much more chance of it getting either a lot colder or storming. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to show off um, one of my favorite features on this, and I don't even have to get out of my tent if I get cold at night or if weather rolls in. They've got a banana clip in here that you'll just kind of poke around for, and once you free that, you can roll the tent fly down on either side. Coordinated clip. All right, now how many tents have you owned that you can put your rain fly on without even having to put your shoes on? All right, walking up mountains makes me hungry. The sun's dipping down, so we're gonna we're gonna make something to warm us up, and that's a stir fry. Uh, I do lots of different variations of these at camp, but this one's just some veggies that are broccoli, peppers, onions, garlic, and then we're gonna do some rice down here in our stash. Once that's ready, we're gonna cook the meat and all of our veggies in this pan, and then we'll mix it all together and be very happy. Don't be intimidated trying to cook good food out here. It really, really adds a lot to the whole experience. Um, I feel like I just sat down at a restaurant and I'm looking out at the Sierra, so time to enjoy. Obos Footwear. We plant a tree for every pair sold. One million and counting. 
<laughs> That's a lot of fucking trees. At Mystery Ranch, we build the best load-bearing backpacks in the world. We design for some of the most demanding users on the planet. We build for a different kind of customer, for folks who inspire us and for people with a job to do. We work directly with them to really understand their needs. We build with the best materials available and the most durable construction methods that exist. So our users can achieve their mission, whether it's on the front line, the fire line, the cleanest line, or the steepest line. Mystery Ranch, built for the mission. Whether you want to discover locals-only backroads with a field map or use a topography map to plan your next backpacking trip, Maps.com has thousands of options to choose from. Unlike your phone, printed maps are waterproof and guaranteed not to run out of batteries or service. So next time you want to head out on an adventure or even just a drive around town, leave your digital devices at home and grab your old trusty printed map and see what kind of fun you can get into. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Before we get back to our episode, I wanna share with you guys some exciting news we've got this season. Um, all of our brand partners have super awesome gear and they've decided to share that gear with you. So we're having weekly sweepstakes where you have the chance to win some of that gear. So make sure you sign up for that. Um, also starting next week on Mondays and Fridays, we're gonna have shorts uh, that'll be anything from tips and tricks from our editorial staff to deeper dives into our brand partners. So make sure you stay tuned for that bonus content there. And make sure you also like, subscribe, follow along, leave us a comment so you can stay up to date with everything going on. And uh, if you see us out on the road, say hello. Welcome Preston, good to see you brother. See you, man. <laughs> we left the pack at the trailhead and marked a spot and he's just arrived. Um, basically we're just going to base camp from here. I think we might run up that mountain. Uh, I got a line out for us to have some fun on and uh, we're just going to kick it and show everybody what base camp exploration and fun can be. Alright. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Day two, our good friend Preston arrived. Preston is a mountain guide in Southern California, but he's someone I got my start with in the outdoors years ago. We have a lot of really good memories and wild places together, and I'm really excited to add a few more to the books. We would catch up by the lake and go over our base camp plans. We decided to take on a day loop of the local trails, taking an off-trail route on our way back to a hidden lake. Using our map, it shows us areas that will likely provide safe passage, and the open woods and giant slabs of granite make traveling there easy. We climbed up high on our way back to our lake and saw our camp from one of the rocks we've been looking at from camp. I swear it looked just like a T-Rex. After our exciting loot, we were finally back home. It was kind of nice not having to set up a whole new camp again. We need our rest for tomorrow. We had plans to rig a slack line across the lake to a small island. Lakey expands its groundbreaking cross-trail line to include a traditional trekking three-section configuration. Featuring the innovative hybrid cross shark grip, it offers the speed and power transmission of the trigger shark system combined with the support of an ergonomic hiking grip for additional support and comfort on descents. The breathable strap features a wide support area for effective power transfer and a secure fit. The sweat-absorbing grip allows for maximum control. 
and the length adjustment is made easy and secure with the Speedlock 2 on 100% high modulus carbon shafts for lightweight durability. From the moment you wake to the fuel you need, from ingenious products that empower true adventure to simple gear that enables fun, products that perform in any terrain, anywhere, for anyone. A relentless ally for your adventures. The adventures that live inside us all. You can't take full advantage of hiking if you don't take good care of your feet. And that's why we love Darn Tough so much. Made in Vermont, they knit category specific socks from a merino wool blend in a variety of fun colors and designs. Best of all, Darn Tough offers an unconditional lifetime guarantee on all of their socks. If the pair you buy aren't the most comfortable, durable, and best fitting socks you've ever owned, return them for another pair. No strings, no conditions, socks guaranteed for life. To learn more about Darn Tough socks, go to www.darntough.com or click the link in the description below. Recreation.gov is your one-stop shop when it comes to planning your next adventure. With over 4,000 facilities and activities around the country, including camping, rafting, horseback riding, and much, much more, at over 100,000 recreation locations, they've got you covered. Using all of the tools, services, and information on their site, you can dream up your next trip and then go live it. We all finally make it out of our tents and we talk about how good we slept and then it's time to make breakfast. Preston whips up an incredible breakfast egg scramble and Steve looks at the map to figure out where we want to explore today. There's a fire tower a couple miles away that looks like it has an incredible view and we decide that that will be our adventure for the afternoon after a bit of digesting and some relaxing. After some solid lakeside yoga and book reading, just as we start to feel ready to trek to the tower, a storm rolls in out of nowhere. Our oh, first lightning. lightning. Whoa! <laughs> uh, so it didn't go. <laughs> it was a little short. <laughs> and we found another island lake with a smaller gap to the island. Uh, so, And we're at lower elevation, so it's a little bit safer um, while these storms pass. Um, but yeah, as soon as they pass, we're going to see what's over there. Just as Preston begins to walk, the rain picks back up again, and we're forced to seek refuge under our tent's rain fly, set up in the hangout mode. And just like that, sun's back out. Preston's making the swim this time. Good man. But the temperature has dropped with the disappearance of the sun and so we've made some hot chocolate to heat ourselves up. All right, valiant effort from the boys. Oh yeah, it's a full day of storms. So. Got a little L on that one. <laughs> Well, it's a hard setup. Some. You did it. We're gonna boogie out though because it looks like it's just gonna get worse and worse. So, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Off we go. Dun dun dun.
storms did not let up and we decided not to do the fire tower because being on top of a fire tower and lightning is not a good idea. So we're back at the car and we're just gonna boogie to the next spot. Yellowstone bourbon is handcrafted in the state of Kentucky. These small batch whiskeys are the work of seventh generation craftsmen, resulting in a unique taste, perfect for the trail. Plus, a portion of every bottle sold goes to helping preserve our national parks. Cheers to that. To learn more about the products from Yellowstone Bourbon, head on over to limestonebranch.com or click the link in the description below. Since 1984, Sawyer has manufactured gear for outdoor enthusiasts that expect the best. We are an independent brand dedicated to developing and creating technically better protection for everyone. So when you buy Sawyer products, you're not only protecting the ones you love, you're helping protect millions of people lacking access to clean water. And you're helping us to do more. Protect more, give more, and innovate more, which helps us be more than an outdoor company. What tools do we use to mark the way? We mark time by days, weeks, and years. But the stuff we remember, the good stuff, we mark by moments. Moments where we're challenged and overcome. The kind that get dirt under our nails and fire in our hearts. We believe that every problem has a solution and that every solution is a moment where we prove who we are. These are moments made. This lake is absolutely incredible. That's right, you heard me. We've not flown to some magical Caribbean island. We are at a lake in California. This 22 mile long, 12 mile wide lake is so clear that you can actually see objects in the water for up to 70 feet. And I even read online the amount of water in this lake could cover the entire state of California for 14 inches. That is a lot of crystal clear water. We met up with some friends and finally got to set up our water line. I watched as Steve and our friends took turns walking on that line, and I am slightly in awe. I'm just getting into the sport, and it feels like even my 10-year gymnastics career could not prepare me for how difficult it is even just to stand up on the line. My friends make it look effortless, and the people who come by on paddle boards and kayaks seem to be just as in awe as I am. It feels like they're dancing in the air. After a while, we packed up the line and decided to make one more day hike to another more secluded location on the lake. We arrive at a beautiful beachside spot and watch countless boats go by, and I can't help but feel concerned for how our massive human presence here could surely have an impact on this lake's immaculate beauty. Staying hydrated while you're out backpacking or hiking is really important, especially when you're out west and it's really dry. And so I use a bladder for that. Uh, it's just a really easy way to crush some miles and keep hiking and be able to drink water whenever you want. And Sawyer makes a really awesome inline filtration system so that you can pump your fresh water directly into your bag without having to take your bladder out. Um, so all you have to do is unclip your bite piece, clip in the Sawyer filter and squeeze directly and it fills your bag. So that way you don't have to take it out and try to shove it back in because you know that's pretty difficult. So, clean water on the go. After some swimming and hammocking, I realized that I'm hungry. 
and then quickly realized that the can of tuna I brought for lunch was not a pop top. Luckily my Leatherman has a can opener, so I was able to open my canned tuna and save the guys from experiencing my impending hanger. Steve hates canned tuna, and so while I was eating my lunch, he and Preston snuck away to have a conversation about the outdoors. Preston is quite the uh, adventurous soul. You do all kinds of multi-sport things, but I thought that was pretty cool that you know you were down and all about our, our base camp idea. <laughs> and you know, it just goes to show like sometimes you know it's fun to push it and sometimes yeah. it's fun to you know walk a couple miles in, eat good food, relax with good people. Um, and I mean not that we didn't get around and explore a little bit, but it's just I don't know, I want people to see when they watch this series that like, you know, just go outside. It doesn't you don't have mm -hmm. to climb the biggest mountain or to, to take on the biggest loop. Just go out there and have a good time with your friends. Yeah, I think that diversity really densifies your life. It makes yeah. it a lot heavier and you take away a lot more it's with very, it. Very so point. Yeah, yeah, I can't I can't fish every day or else I get tired of it. Yeah, or, you know, exactly. It's good to mix mix it up. Same thing, it's like you don't wanna hike the same trail every day if you were doing it for you know, it's like a workout or something. Yeah. You get bored of it. Then it's like the gym. Yeah. All over again. Just staring <laughs> at the, the same wall or whatever. Or you, you have know? to add another element like music or something else to like keep you pushing. Yeah. We said goodbye to our dear friend Preston and I'm hit with such an overwhelming gratitude for our friends that are willing to drive hours and hours to come hang out with us along this road trip. I'm also feeling gratitude for the strangers that have become our friends too. We've met so many people along our journey that are truly incredible, kind, loving, inspiring people. We're officially halfway through our trip and we're headed to Washington next to backpack with our friend Amy. We've done some insanely awesome things so far and seen some of our country's most beautiful places but my favorite thing by far has been the people.